single jointed elbows oh. hey what's up you guys shardimus prime here doing another mcfarlane toys action figure review on four separate figures we are looking at the mcfarlane toys dc multiverse batman three joker set of batman red hood the clown joker and the criminal joker trying your dc multiverse figures you can do so with big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below and while you're down there i ask you to please hit that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and a big thanks to mcfarlane toys for making this review possible and sending out these samples my way if you want to see the latest from mcfarlane toys be sure to check out the link in the description below this batman and these jokers look as i mean all four of these actually look pretty cool but anyway on the side right there uh, they all say batman three jokers and you can see the names on the side of the packaging and then you can see product shots over here on the very back looking pretty cool and then you can see the card images for other characters at the very bottom right over there and then over here you can see their names once again then not much more at the windows or at the bottom of these figures so let's get to it and crack these things open <laughs> And here's all four figures out of the packaging and there are definitely some very cool things going on here that i really like some other things i don't like so much but let's get a closer look at all the accessories and all of these figures so we're going to look at the criminal joker figure first and it comes with your standard issue trading card nice shot of the joker right over there there's read over here on the back if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now you get your standard issue dc multiverse base and then you get a cane which looks pretty good i like this gold right over here nice sculpted detail on there and then it's just a black cane <laughs> I'm never the biggest fan of having a Joker figure that's not smiling, but I guess this is the criminal mastermind Joker. I have not read the three Jokers book, but or books anyway, and I am kind of interested in it. There's three Jokers at once. It looks like we're getting some nice photoreal tech right over here for the eyes and everything. And on the face, I really like the gray over the white. So really cool paint detail throughout on this thing. And I like how the hair looks with the green and black mixed in. But looking at the torso, I'm not happy with how thin these shoulders look. Uh, his hips are wider than his shoulders. So I'm not really liking that. Paint apps look pretty clean over here. And I do like the sculpt. I really like this soft material right here for the coat. This is actually the kind of material I want to use for the street humans wardrobe cover pieces. Uh, but you can see a slight difference in color right over here. That's going to happen when the material changes. Nice wrinkles, nothing pinless or anything like that. You can see some some white right over here so that looks pretty good with the gloves and everything no interchangeable hands legs look pretty solid slight color differentiation right over here between uh, the joints and the legs right there and then the feet look really good or the shoes look really nice fancy loafers and everything you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet so here's looking at the trading card for the clown joker and nice shot right over there and there's a read up over here on the back if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now uh, it comes with a crowbar looking pretty cool I do like that. Very appropriate for the Joker. And it's oh so delish. We have a Joker fish. And holy crap, is that a scary Joker fish face? Oh my god, that looks terrifying. I really like how soft and rubbery this is. By the way, it's very easy for the figure to hold. I like the scale sculpted on there. <laughs> And holy crap, I love this head sculpt. I don't know what the third Joker is, but this is the clown Joker. And holy crap, this may be my favorite DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Joker figure. I really like this head sculpt a lot. I love how the teeth look. Again, you get that awesome photoreal tech on the face. Look at those eyes, man. Freaky. I love how big the teeth are. Great paint detail here, and the hair looks great as well. Now, the hips are a little bit wider on this figure as well as the criminal Joker, but it's just not as bad on this one. And I feel like, I don't know, I wish we'd gotten something a little bit more going on with the pink over here. It feels a little flat on the front of the figure, but I do like it. I like the bright, vibrant color. The flower looks really good, except for a little paint splotch right over there. You get the little tie. And again, like the green and the pink right here just feels a little flat. I don't know if they could have added some detail. I would have liked that. Then the cuffs right there, hands look really good. You get the pinstripe pants over here. Very soft, rubbery material right over here for this pelvis piece. So it helps with the articulation a lot. I have a feeling that could get wrinkled though if you leave it like that for a long period of time. Uh, but I'm digging the pinstripes, man. Very happy to have the pinstripes on the pants and the loafers look really good. And you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Then here's the trading card for the Batman figure. And it looks pretty sweet. I like the picture. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And of course, these all come with the same DC Multiverse stand. 
I believe this grappling gun has been used before. I just can't remember which Batman figure, if it was used before, but I like it. I do miss having a Batarang, but at the same time, uh, I don't really need another Batarang sandwich. <laughs> And I short you not, this may be my very favorite Batman head sculpt I've seen from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. I really dig this a lot. It reminds me of the Thomas Wayne head sculpt, but of course it's very different. Uh, you do have a little dot right over there on the chin, but I do like the gradient paint a little bit. Maybe it should have gone the other way. I, I feel like there's something a little off with the way this is highlighted right here with the paint apps, but I still like it. I like having a color differentiation on the flesh tone, so that looks cool to me. I love the leathery sculpt that we see right there on the cowl that looks really really cool very very happy with that then someone did inform me that the batman year two figure reuses this torso piece or a lot of this body mold i'll do a comparison later on but i do like how it looks it feels a little bland on the gray wish there was some kind of paint shading going on but i do like the musculature and we have the pins showing and you can see that we get the little spikies right over here kind of coming off the side more than at the bottom i always feel like these are supposed to be at the bottom of the glove instead of the side of the glove you have these rivets right over here on the back and that explains how the year two had riveted gloves uh, or hands and then another set without the rivets there get the waist piece legs look pretty good i do like how these boots look again that leathery sculpted detail is fairly consistent on all the black portions of the figure which i think looks really dope so i'm pleased with that you get a lot of tread sculpted right over there as well as peg holes at the bottom of the feet and i like the cape too it's not super long, doesn't get in the way of the feet or anything like that. Very cool design right over here, so pretty sweet. So here's a look at the trading card for the Red Hood, and I do like that they use the actual figures for these. He also comes with the DC Multiverse space, and then there's a read-up over here on the back. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And he comes with one accessory, which is very appropriate. He comes with a crowbar for beating up the Joker. Yeah, payback's a bitch, right? And it's a different crowbar than the one that comes with the Joker clown figure, so I like that they didn't just reuse that. <laughs> And we get a very different helmet sculpt right over here, and I love the metallic red. Holy crap, that paint is fantastic. Oh man, that looks so sick. I mean, it was badass on the other version too. It's not like this was hella weak, but just again, seeing that metallic red, ah, oh, dude, I love it looks so sick then you get a hood right over here that drapes over the back we get a whole new upper torso right over here which i really dig it looks like the arms or the hands might be reused though yeah they do look similar Let's see yeah they did use the same hands but the arms are definitely different the jacket's different then the legs and this pelvis piece are the same but yeah i do like the new jacket for sure nice wrinkles sculpted in there and everything looks very good he does not have the holsters i do have a paint splotch right here that does bother me but i do like how this torso looks the legs look dope i like the detail with the red right over here and you get some nice looking boots once again with the peg holes at the bottom of the feet now i'm not going to get into a full articulation segment over here i have the same complaints as i always do or i wish we had thigh joints right here well no some of them have the thigh rotation uh, this batman figure has some of it you know it moves outward more so than inward uh, just like the year two batman you don't get any ab crunch right there which frustrates me this joker figure has some really good articulation though while the abs don't really move forward that much at the upper torso well, you can see it moving forward right there uh, the waist joint is just really incredible and i like this flexible pelvis piece right over here as far as the red hood i have the same issue with the wrist joint you know those cuffs go really long but the torso articulation on the red hood is very good so i do like that part of it and the head joint is pretty dope too so some good articulation on this guy similar frustration with the thighs though you know ah, i just wish we'd get thigh cuts on all of these Arr, todd please now to measure out these four figures you can see the shortest of these four is the red hood standing just a little under that seven inch mark and it looks like batman's the tallest one right over here standing at about uh, seven and a quarter inches tall and for your mcfarland toys joker figure comparison you can see we have our two new jokers over here here's the shelf warmer joker which actually has sculpted pinstripes i really like that about this figure and then here we have the arkham joker with the poison gas variant paint on it uh i would rank this one as number one and then this one number two then three and then four. Oh, i know there's a lot of dc multiverse batman figures from mcfarland toys but just to compare this new batman figure to a couple other batmans we have the year two batman which yeah you can see the similar parts being reused right over here and then we have the thomas wayne batman then for a red hood comparison 
comparison, you can see the latest version next to the last version that came out, and he is a bit shorter, and the color red here is a bit different, and that crowbar did come from a previous Joker, right? I think it was the Arkham Joker, or the other Joker? I can't remember which Joker. And then here's all four figures next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man and no stop motion, but it'll be back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to this channel by hitting that like button, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos, and a big thanks to all these people over here that are in a position to support this content via Patreon and membership. If you're interested, check it out. Link in the description below. This is a great set of figures. I really like these a lot, man. Very, very fun figures to have. I think they look awesome. Uh, the only one I don't like really is the Criminal Joker. I I'm just not the biggest fan of that, but I still had fun posing them around and stuff. It's just I don't like the ultra wide hips and the narrow shoulders and he's not smiling and I get the premise of it. He's the thinking Joker, but still, uh, it's just not my favorite out of those four. Not a big fan of it, but I really love the Joker figure, Batman and the Red Hood figures. Like those three are really awesome. So I'm very happy with them. Still have complaints here and there that I talked about earlier, but I really like this set. I think this is the one of the better waves from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. So I really like it a lot. And at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks for each of these figures, I'm going to give this wave a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments section below. If you're going to pick up just one of these, which one would it be? I think for me it would be the Joker figure. Or the Batman. Or the clown Joker figure. You know what I'm saying? Either of those two. But anyway, I want to know what you think. Let me know down there in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.